What is up, everybody? I am finally headed to Kansas. It's November 3rd. It's about 10 o'clock, and I am on the road. I'm headed north out of Texas, going to hit the turnpike in Oklahoma, and then, boom, straight to Kansas. Got a little slow start this morning. My wife is out of town because she goes to visit her parents while I'm in Kansas, and I was going to take her dogs to the uh, doggy daycare place, you know, camp so they can stay there while we're both gone. And uh, there was a girl supposed to open it up early for me, and uh, she did. So I had to wait till nine o'clock till the other workers get there. So I was gonna leave at about seven, I left at about 10, so I'm about three hours behind, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm gonna get up there in time, just, just in time to do a quick ground hunt this evening. Um, kind of a low impact spot somewhere I can slip into real quick um, maybe observe over some CRP see if there's any deer moving I'm meeting my buddy Aaron with Flatland Whitetails up there I think he's bringing his son down this evening they're gonna try to shoot something at the same area I'm hunting so we'll be in Kansas here shortly y'all stay tuned uh, I'll be here all week so um, Hopefully I'm able to get on some Kansas bruisers. Public land, DIY. Uh, this is what I live for, so y'all stay tuned. Well, made it to Kansas. I'm here, My buddy Aaron and his son. We're about to drive around, spot some fields. There are a lot of cars in this parking area which is strange i've never seen that many here but it is saturday november 3rd so maybe it's just a little busy today we're gonna go bought some fields maybe we can get some big bucks on camera so now we're we're over here at this observation tower um, we just saw some nice deer in some fields but i couldn't get them on camera now we're at this observation tower here um, we're gonna do some some glassing um, see if we can see anything there's a lot more trucks than I've ever seen here. Uh, so that's kind of discouraging. But uh, I think during the week, they're all they're all local people, so I think during the week, um, I might have it to myself more than likely, unless some people take their vacation. Uh, but I'm gonna go up here, show y'all some footage from up here. Well, welcome to my home for the next uh, week, I guess. I'm watching some LSU Alabama pass some time i just went to the grocery store got my food for the week apples and bananas keep me healthy got my camera gear over here rest of the gears in my truck i've got that camper shell now everything's locked up and safe i don't even have to worry about it so this evening I ran into a lot of hunters which is not my favorite thing, but I had to remember it's Saturday evening. This is when everybody's going to be hunting. So, with that being said, I talked to a bunch of them. Um, one guy actually had a shot at a deer and missed it. A uh, good buck. Me and Aaron with Flatland Whitetails, we drove around for a while. And we actually saw um, a couple good bucks and a ton of does. And the, the rut is really starting to kick on, so... Uh, we saw a ton of chasing. The bucks were just had their noses on the ground around this piece of private land. So <clears throat> I definitely think the timing is right. But this is going to be it for day one. And like I said, kind of got that late start. I was about three hours later than I really wanted to be. So I didn't really get to hunt this evening. But I got some good intel. Um, figured out where all this pressure is. So I'm going to go to an area in the morning where none of these guys said, you know, that they were going. They all kind of told me where they were going and, and nobody was going to this kind of back 40 back there. So that's where I'm going to go in the morning. And uh, hopefully we have a good morning. But y'all be sure to stay tuned. Um, this is the end of day one. Day two is tomorrow. It's the morning of November 4th, Sunday. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little a ground attack into a bedding area this morning. I'm gonna slip into this area before daylight, uh, probably 45 minutes before, you know, first light. Uh, I'm gonna back up into a little cedar thicket uh, that these deer like to bed in and around uh, and try to catch these bucks coming back into the bedding. Um, and 
as well you know does coming back through this bedding area this whole area is just bedding I'm, like I say I haven't really scouted it so hard where I know what's buck and what's doe I just know that that a lot of deer bed in this general area so I'm going to get up in here um, I can't see a whole long ways and that's the only thing I don't like about it but I, I can't see up and down this one creek um, so I'm gonna get in there and hopefully see some deer this morning last night when we were driving around um, the deer were coming down this kind of a uh, draw through this open CRP field well thick CRP field really and they were coming from this public area and then going to a bean field across the road then to cross about half a mile of private to get to a bean field so I'm hoping that they'll spend all their time over there at night and then come back to me in the morning so that's the plan for this morning uh, this is day two of my hunt Y'all stick with me. Well, I'm set up in my ground blind. It's just starting to get daylight. I'll stay tuned. Can you believe that? First morning, it just got daylight. Unreal, I think I heard him crash right over there. I think I heard him crash. watch the footage and I did hit his shoulder so there's a chance that that it didn't make it through I think I got enough penetration um, I hit just a little right of where I wanted to but if it got through it punched him right in the heart I mean right in the heart I'm gonna sit here for a minute then go see if I can find the arrow but I heard a crash um, pretty sure I heard a crash so I'm gonna see if I can find the arrow here in just a second y'all stay tuned so I found the arrow it got enough penetration there's good red blood on it um, some of it looks like heart some of it's got some bubbles in it on the arrow so I'm pretty sure that deer's gonna be dead I'm gonna pack up my stuff sit here calm down and then uh in about maybe 45 minutes to an hour go over there see if I can find him here's the arrow it actually broke you can see it's 
blood splatters there. Good blood on this part of the arrow. And then here's the other part of the arrow here. It made it through the shoulder for sure. Looks like it got pretty good penetration and blood on it. So I'm going to leave this here as a marker and then start looking for blood. Some blood there. There's some more blood there. It's pretty red. It's got bubbles. I don't think he's going to be much further. Well, here he is, boys. Didn't go very far at all. Nice Kansas buck. Oh. Look at the body. Wow. Look at the body on this thing. <laughs> nice Kansas buck. It's got a broke tine on that one side. I didn't notice that. But like I say, you know, this deer is probably a three year old. You know, I would not have passed on this thing on the last day. Bow hunting's fickle. You never know what you're going to get. The good thing is, is I have other friends around, so I'm going to try to find some people to film. <sighs> Maybe go hunt some public land in Oklahoma with my buddy Chance. I can't believe the first, I mean, 20 minutes, of, not even 20 minutes of shooting, like 10 minutes of shooting light, and this thing comes rolling in. Unreal. Just absolutely unreal. Day one of Kansas public land. Day one in the morning and I've got a dead buck. I just, I attribute this to just the scouting I've done in previous years and getting into this area and seeing the caliber of bucks that use this area. And what this is, is about 100 yards that way to 200 yards that way is a huge duck hunting marsh. And as the crow flies, it's about a half a mile to the parking area. But I have to walk these levees through the duck hunting area. Probably a mile and a half to get here. So, getting here is hard. And these deer back here just don't get much pressure. So that's why it's such a good spot. Two years ago, I, I wounded a deer here. Non-lethal shot, never found it. That was before I started filming. Then this year, last year, I got that big 10 point on film with the decoy on the other side of this same piece of public. And then this year, first morning out, shoot this nice, you know, three year old nine point. And that's a message I wanna send to everybody. You shoot what makes you happy. Um, it doesn't matter what anybody says. I'm, I might get some flack for this. You know, I might have people saying, you shouldn't have shot that deer in Kansas. What are you doing? You know, but I'm here to tell you that you don't pass a buck on public land with a bow that you'd shoot on the last day. If he comes in on the first day and you'd shoot him on the last, you, you shoot him. And I know I've said that a bunch, but I just want to reaffirm that, that that's what I truly believe. There's bigger bucks here, for sure. There's bigger bucks here. You know, could I have maybe shot one? Maybe. Could I have eaten tag soup if I didn't shoot this one opportunity? Very well possible. So, this is just awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and get my tripod and do a little interview here with the deer. And then I'm gonna work on getting them out of here. It's gonna, it's gonna be a hard job getting this deer out of here today so y'all be sure to stay tuned well thank you dear thank you mr. dear this is my 2018 Kansas public land buck he 
ran around 80 yards as you can see all the bubbles in the blood this deer has been fighting he's got a broke tine here a chipped brow tine here he's a bully he was with the doe this morning and uh, he was grunting and I heard the grunt and that's when I picked up my bow so he came in gave me a perfect shot I put a good shot on him heart lung queen nice clean kill I couldn't be happier really couldn't be happier it's just so awesome to come out here on our public lands and deer hunt Thank you, Mr. Deer. Thank you. Packing the first load of meat out. There he is there. I'm halfway done. This is the Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28. And I tell you what, I'm never gonna drag another deer out of public land again. This is the absolute best way to do it. I've got about a mile out of here. I'm halfway done. I'm gonna go back and finish the other half. I've got a ham, a shoulder, and back strap all in this pack. It's pretty nifty. I've got a review on the Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 28 on my channel y'all be sure to check it out i was able to carry in my all my gear to hunt this morning now i'm carrying the deer out so it's a sweet pack there's not another pack in the world that can do this as you can see this area is really swampy these kind of a cattail marsh here and i'm walking in water um, I was hunting on just a little cedar island that these deer use to bed. It's overlooked. It's overlooked by a lot of hunters because there's no trees to hang a stand in. But I've killed two bucks in Kansas the past two years. And they were both from the ground. So I think there's something to say about that. Taking out my last load. Got tenderloins, backstrap, ham, quarter, and the head. This is a great way of doing this. Well, that's it for my public land trips in Kansas and Oklahoma this year. Um, tagged out early, so I was, you know, kind of bouncing around, did some hunting in other places. And of course, I finally decided to shoot a doe. And I don't get a shot at a doe all day. Um, so that's how it goes, those does sometimes. So I'm driving home tomorrow. I had a great trip, really good time, learned a lot about this area. I'm passing on the info to a friend who's going to hunt some more here. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.